Hello Capricorn, we're here to do a love reading for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus of Capricorn. This will be solely focused on your person's thoughts, feelings, intentions, and possible actions with you Capricorn. I will clarify, and in clarifying I may speak to the fact that you will react to them in certain ways, but we will see what we will see. Okay. So the overall energy in this reading for you today is Ten of Swords. Something has come to an end. You're at a crossroads, Capricorn. It looks as though there were some egocentric battles between two people who really love each other about a love offer and what that should look like. All right, so let's dig into this reading. Okay. So Capricorn, your person is the emperor. Wow, that's quite the opener, Capricorn. The king of the kings has moves, has ch a chess piece. And this person really wants, they're in it to win it with you, Capricorn. They want equal give and take in the relationship. They app, Here you are, Capricorn, you have entered your reading. Your person does see you as very reliable, someone with whom they can build a future, someone with whom they can have equal give and take, someone that earns money, somebody that really understands the life of the career and the success of the emperor. They see you as an ideal partner, Capricorn. In the recent past, it looks like the two of you might have gone on a vacation. We see that you have been planning a future together. The Three of Wands energy speaks to the fact that your person has a chess piece. They feel as though you are the ship that has arrived in the harbor. They want tiki torches, starry nights, and beautiful adventures with you. This also speaks to a very strong element of watery energy, love, affection, everything that's beautiful. The best that can happen, oh my gosh, your person feels that you are a rock star. Capricorn, they see you as their hopes and dreams for love coming true. They are not going to give up on this relationship. You are the manifestation of everything that they've ever wanted. Beautiful energy. The devil card. Now Capricorn, <laughs> we have to talk. When we look at you in this reading, <laughs> we see the very sexy Capricorn. Capricorn is most known in the Zodiac as a person that makes love well into their old age while everyone else is sitting in a rocking chair. What we see is that your person feels very strongly that you are incredibly magnificent. Look at the glitter in the hair, the bare chest, <laughs> male or female. They feel as though glitter in the hair and the bare chest is really breathtaking. They understand, your emperor understands that you are very particular about the way you have relationships. And what we see here is that there is a little bit of Capricorn's way or the highway. That basically when you make an offer, it's always conditional. And there are definite parameters that your person has to meet to be in your life. You're very, very picky and you're very much going to require that you have your way and you have your say in a relationship. You will not go into any partnership with anyone in which you don't really feel that you're, you know, you're carrying a lot of leadership. All right, Capricorn. So how does your person feel about you? We see them feeling like you are absolutely the epitome of the person they want to be with. You can see this is almost like someone is on a stage. They've won an award. All all eyes are on them. There's people applauding. This with the star card speaks to the fact that you or your partner may be in show business or maybe in the performing arts or maybe in the public eye. So it would really make sense that both of you basically have agreements such as maybe a confidentiality agreement to never share your personal information with each other. But it does look like there would be a legal agreement here to consummate this relationship at a deeper level. The Ace of Wands, the way they see you, Capricorn, is someone who's fiery, who's exuberant, who always has new ideas, who's always starting something fresh and new and building. The Hierophant energy is what they pray for. When they look at what they desire, their hopes and their fears, they definitely hope that you will share this Taurus energy with them and join them 
in matrimony. I would also say my intuition is telling me that Capricorn is going to require marriage and commitment spiritually with someone. They would not, Capricorn does not look like they're just randomly in it to, you know, for, for fun and laughter. I don't see that. Though they want, though Capricorn, you always want fun and laughter. You want the adventure. You require the stability and you require somebody who will do things by the rules. Saturn. Your outcome is the King of Wands. <laughs> Fiery Leo energy. In it to win it. Leo energy here. We have Aquarius. We have Aries. We have Taurus. We have... Aries again, Capricorn, Capricorn, fire sign energy, Taurus energy. Okay, so basically what I see is that Capricorn for you, you completely plan on winning this romantic situation, the chess plays, the chess moves that your person is going to make is to secure, to do everything that you require to secure the relationship. They have a lot of pride. They have a lot of ego. Your person is someone who is also in the public eye. This person that you are interacting with is someone who is very, very set in terms of their goals, very much like you. Both of you have very stringent ideas about what you will accept in relationship. Your person wants to make you a part of their family. They want to make, they're very proud of you. They want you on their arm. If you walk the red carpet, I see a beautiful walk. So let's go ahead and dig in here and see what happened because there is something going on here with that Ten of Swords walk away energy. Now, it may not have happened yet, but it does look as though Capricorn is very, very, you are very settled. You are very determined to get your way. And if you don't, you will walk away. And that's the energy that I see with your person also, that you either come to an agreement or the two of you will call it quits. Okay, the Knight of Cups energy is clarifying the very, very, seductive moves of the emperor card the emperor is playing with a big chess piece they play to win and so the first order of action will be to give you a romantic life like you've a romantic night or event like you've never had before we have the queen of cups energy is also clarifying the knight of cups meaning that your person really loves you they love you very deeply they want romance and they intend to win with you, Capricorn. The energy of the Six of Pentacles is clarified by the Ace of Pentacles. The two of you will make determinations about how you will invest your funds. I love it. The Ace of Pentacles is oftentimes an engagement ring. So your person is very focused on having a beautiful relationship become a, a, a marriage. That's what I'm seeing. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? We have the Nine of Swords. So your person is very worried that they've done things and said things in the past that really have not helped them further your interest in them. So let's see what else. What is it about that Nine of Swords? What did they do or say? Three of Swords, okay. So Capricorn, what I'm seeing here is your person has had some interference in your relationship. For some of you, this person may be married to another person, though it does not look like it. But a third party situation or heartbreak around something that they've done has really caused a problem in the relationship. Your person feels that they've hurt you so badly that there may be no coming back. We're getting the energy of the nine of coins. Your person feels as though you would be just as happy staying single with the third party situation. So there is trouble in River City, as they said in the Music Man, the movie. All right, Page of Cups, your person still wants to have this starry nights, ticky torches, beautiful vacations. They are they are promising you or offering you a cup of love. In the past, it wasn't a big cup. It wasn't enough for you. 
The Moon card is clarifying the Star card, so that's interesting energy. Pisces, this is Pisces energy, and it really speaks to the fact that the relationship that you have had has been hidden. It has been under a bushel basket, as your grandmother might have said, if they live in the U.S. The light of this relationship has been hidden and has is out of the public eye. The clarifying card for the devil is the star card. Oh my gosh. Okay. So now I'm really, really feeling very strongly that someone out there in TV land is dating a celebrity who has absolutely no interest in having their personal life exposed. So I do feel as though the strings that are attached are very much ones that are very firmly entrenched. Your person really loves you. They feel as though you're a rock star. You feel as though they are a rock star. And it really speaks to the fact that you have a very spiritual, beautiful, uh, kind, loving experience when you're together. It's almost like you feel like you transcend the earth. Almost like you're in rare air. Like you're both, you're two star seeds is almost what I'm seeing here. And only you will know, so you can leave it in the comments below. The Six of Wands energy is clarified by the Hierophant. So your person is very determined. Your Emperor energy person is very determined. They want to be married to you. They're going to have a victory. They will comply. Your person will comply. It does look as though they may have told the thing that I think your person may have done that upset you, Capricorn, especially if you're the one who's in the public eye. They may have shared some sort of information about you or your relationship with a friend, somebody that they know to be discreet, but I do see that there was the some sort of information that got out that wasn't supposed to get out. The Ace of Wands is clarified by the Ace of Cups. Look at that. Love, passion, what more could you want? With that Ace of Pentacles, which is an engagement ring, we only need the Three of Cups and we have an engagement. We have a legal agreement. Why is the Hierophant here twice? We have the Five of Pentacles. Okay. So basically what I'm seeing is that Capricorn, whoever the married person, it looks like somebody's married. It looks like somebody's unmarried because I have Nine of Pentacles and I have Hierophant twice. So the fact that you want to marry each other, the fact that your emperor wants to marry you, means that you will be brought in out of the cold, whatever you've suffered in the way of watching them, you know, a partner with them on the internet or walking the red carpet. Your feeling left out in the cold is coming to an end. Your person is coming to get you. Capricorn, the lover's card is clarifying the Leo energy. Look at that Gemini energy. The lover's card is all about making choices, and it appears that your lover goes out of their way to claim you in a victorious relationship. You will be front and center with them. You will be public in terms of your time together. It appears that you will make an agreement that would be some sort of agreement to keep that which is private private. A prenuptial agreement is in order here but I'm really seeing this beautiful energy of the two of you coming together. The double star card says doubly loud that hopes and dreams for love are coming true. So you can let me know in the comments below what is true about this, but in the meantime, we're gonna get a Moonology Oracle that's going to tell us more. Give us more advice, Spirit, please, about this Capricorn relationship, this lover of Capricorn and their plans to make Capricorn their spouse, significant other, their wish and dream for love coming true. Conclusions are within reach. That means that you are about to make final decisions about this relationship. Let's see what the Shaman's Dream Oracle says in terms of the advice that they can add to this reading, Capricorn. It's really quite stunning, quite a beautiful reading for you. Fortune's wheel, luck, and right timing. All right, Capricorn, there you have it. All right, so thank you for watching. It's been a pleasure and a joy and my privilege to bring this reading to you. Thank you.